how are you? Good. That's good. How are you? Um, good. Not too bad. Running around like a like a blue ass fly, but otherwise, yeah, <laughs> we're doing all right. <laughs> um, we've we've had a copy of the album for about the last three days, um, and um, I've been it's been stuck in my car, so um, we've been giving it a good listen. And uh, so okay. c- congratulations on it. I think it's a su- su- superb album all round. Um, Thank you. As I said to um, the record company here, this is uh, definitely a feel-good album. Would you would you <laughs> <laughs> would you agree with that analogy? Yes, it's definitely the ray of light. Yes, it's like Madonna's done a ray of light. <laughs> no, no, it is. So uh-huh. happy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because I can remember um, back in I think it was about 1988. Um, yeah. When you know when it all sort of started and started coming together for you, um, you actually did. Um, I think you did like an unplugged session outside Tower Records in Piccadilly Circus, <laughs> and I happened to oh. be there. So that was my first experience of of, of, oh my God. of seeing you play. So <laughs> <laughs> that is a scary Mary though. Yeah. Playing in a record shop. Yes. It's yeah. very pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh. So, uh-huh. Yeah. But now you, you've been away. You've uh, cut yeah. your hair. You've done all of those things. You've uh, yeah. obviously um, had time to sort of regroup. Did you do that? Yeah. Did you do that uh, because you you felt it necessary, or was it just the way things happened for you? Um, it was just the way things happened because I had um, left my manager. Mm. Managed me since I was 18, mm. and my record company. So I had to rethink, and also I had to, just to take time off and play and be stupid and you know be a bit chish for a lot of No, and and then um, it it yeah. So it, it naturally took about three years because I wasn't really with a great desire to, to go back into the studio. Mm, mm, mm. But uh, then I watched yeah. I met Marco. Yeah. Because he's Italian. Yes. And I like Italians. <laughs> <Fair> <laughs> <enough>. <laughs> nothing wrong with an nothing wrong with an Italian, that's for sure. No. And that of ob- course. Yeah, and that obviously influenced, you know, tracks like Amor C and things like that, yeah? Yeah. Mm, mm. Yeah, definitely. Mm, mm. That's a, that's a, that is my tribute to to Italian love. Lovers. Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a pretty powerful uh, tribute. <laughs> Dude, I'm glad you. That's cool. No, it's very. I like it. Mm. It's got all three different ranges. Mm. Of mm. Um, and obviously, um, the the title of the album as well um, yeah. has that influence um, as well. Um, obviously, it's um, it's a track on the album. But, yeah. but But why did you actually choose to go with that one? You know, to sum up the album. Because I thought it was funny, and I thought it was very... Because somebody said to me, oh, you should call your album, The Sky Is Mine. Oh, <laughs> I yeah. thought, God, no. I just sound so, like, not happening. Yeah. It's not. Mm. And um, I just wanted to, to to not be taking myself very seriously. Yeah. I mean, the Cappuccino songs is like, and what does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. It's It, it means that you... The, these songs are as important as cappuccino, really. Yeah. Which, yes, which, which is a bit of... Which is quite important in my life. Absolutely, but, um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, I, but I hear what you're saying, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As I say, but then, you know, in, in coming back and, um, you know, having to sit down and, um, you know, put these songs together, were, were these, you know, are these songs that, uh, you know, that you wrote over that period or, or was it a case of going into the studio and actually writing and recording these tracks, you know, after the break? Um, well, what happened really was I started to work with Marco, just not even really working with him. We became very good friends, and we, when you're in the first flash of a friendship even, yeah. it's a bit like a romance, yeah. and we would just start to write together and uh, not really knowing where the songs were going to end up, but it was the first time I'd written with somebody, so, and and liked it, and and so he had a studio, so we just started to put things down. And then in the, about a few months later, we we thought that it was leading towards an idea of an album. Mm. But I don't think 
we were writing songs for an album, if you know what I mean. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, and then, apart from I Don't Want to Lose That Love, which yeah. we wrote towards the end, there wasn't any real idea of, of what was going to go on an album or... But at the beginning it was kind of, because he was doing many other things and I was kind of just doing your thing. And here and after, uh, doing that kind of thing. Yeah. And, but I like this word, making an album, because it's very... It's, it can correspond to the idea of a nice life. Yeah, yeah. That you do very leisurely and, and, and not have a record company breathing down your neck. Yeah, yeah. That happens a bit later. They yeah. start to get very panty. But um, at the beginning it wasn't like that. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, your whole personality um, actually for me comes out for the first time because to me as much as you you know you were writing uh, and, and performing great songs um, up mm. to this point um, you know nobody really knew who you know to need to take was because mm. you know there was there was no real personality um, no it's true coming, yeah coming through now yeah. all of a sudden um, you know it's, it's almost as it's, it's, it's like a discovery that, oh, yes, there is actually a person there, and, and it's a fun person as well, you know. That, yeah. Yeah, you know, to back it up. No, it's funny because friends of mine would say, well, well you know, you, you barely exist. Yes. In your public design. It's very strange. Yes. It doesn't correspond at all to you. And, 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 and I suppose on this I thought, well, you know, I might as well. Yeah. Splash out, splash out and be yourself. I mean, yet, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, but uh, you know, uh, was it a concern of yours that you know that the fans that had followed you to this point, um, you know, do, do you think that they will, you know, embrace this? Except, or, yeah. Uh, well, there's been some discussion on the internet. <laughs> mm, no, right. Normally no, is, yeah. I, <laughs> no, I don't know. Yes, I hope so. People think the pictures are a bit too sexy. Some of them. And that's but a bad I thing. Do. I don't. I don't see that as a bad thing. No, I don't. I think sex is is good. So, um, but some people were a bit shocked. shocked. Really? But yeah, and I just thought, geez, where's the shock, guys? Yeah, come on. But, um, yeah. Come on. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. But that was quite funny. But um, no, I th I think the the people who like the music are always very supportive. So I don't, I don't think they'll mm. be too shocked. Mm. Just one or two people will be shocked. Yeah, but then that's good. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, does it actually help now? I mean, as I say, I mean, when you know, I mean, when it when it first sort of all sort of came together for you, I mean, you weren't that young, but um, no. you know, it, it, it did all sort of come together rather, you know, suddenly. Whereas yeah. now you're looking back and it, you know, you're jaded somewhat because you've been <laughs> pushed through the mull and you know you've come out the other yeah. side and you survived. But I mean, yeah. obviously there's certain things that you know are fickle and not as important. But it would seem, even in the songwriting, that you're focusing on the things that are important to you now. Yeah. You know that seems to be the most important thing is that you have a yeah. good time doing this. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I don't want to to. Um I think it's, it's very funny, I think it's as important to write songs as mindless as If I Ever. Yes. As Twist and Do you know what I mean? I don't think mm. people are surprised that I, c I could put something like that on an album. Yes. But I think it's, that's what life is really. Yeah. I mean, if everything was very serious and Yes, it would be a bit, bit, bit boring, wouldn't it? But, but everything would be boring, it would be so boring, we'd yeah. just all suicide ourselves. So, uh, I, 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 and I don't live life like that either. No. It's like, I mean, I think it would be a real affectation if I did. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, um, sort of an ir ironic cover that you chose as well, which is probably going to come up in every, every interview that you do. <laughs> but anyway, um, it, yeah, your your rendition of the day before you came. Um, yeah. I sort of sense I sense more than more than just the track meaning to that for it, you know, for it yeah. being included. Yeah. What um, is that? Yeah. What is? Well, it's just the song which fascinated me from a very young age, because I mean, obviously, Abba is huge, and we're huge and are huge, and um, it's a very strange song because I think it was their last big hit. I'm not even sure if it was a very big hit in, in England, but it was a very big hit in Germany and Holland, mm. and I just thought that it was about a woman, um, an older woman, having a love story that was quite sinister. And 
even at the age of 10, I didn't think this was a normal pop song. Mm -hmm. And I was very attracted to this idea of, of, of a woman or of a life, which is very... It has a fish on somewhere, but it doesn't... It's not, it, something happens mm -hmm. that changes it. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I do, something I do. very sinister love stories, erotic... I mean, of course I say that now, but I couldn't have understood that when I was 10 years old. But yeah. I knew there was something very different about it. Yeah. And it, and it haunted me since. Yeah. I mean, for a long time I thought it was a song about my mother, you know, that yeah. kind of, yeah. that stoic sort of facing a very dull life, but there's mm. something going on mm. that you can't really understand. Yeah. Yeah. And why well, I, that's why I did it because I think the lyrics are amazing mm, mm. and it works very well because I must admit yeah, I mean it has obviously been covered before by Blue Mange and, and other people but uh, yeah. your version of it actually um, it works very well within the context of the album I think as well yeah mm. yeah mm. No, it's nice. Yeah. It's funny. Yeah, but now with... It's a funny version. <laughs> <laughs> funny. It's a funny version. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, as I said, the, you know, the first single, um, mm. did, did you choose to go with that for any particular reason? Because as I said, it's interesting because various people have said to me they would have gone, you know, track two is the, is, is the one that takes you right back into, you know, who Tanik, you know, Tanik's uh, yeah. is. But yeah, you know, Stop Listening is a... Uh, is is not really um, you know it, it it has it has a lot happening in it which isn't traditional yeah. to you. Was it yeah. A, why did you choose to go with that? Um, it was the record company. Ah, no, I would have gone with it Yes, blame the record. I would have gone with it forever. Because I'm just an old you know disco yeah. chica. Yeah. yeah. But they 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 wanted to go with something like that, but I didn't. Uh -huh. I was like, mm, um, guys. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> but now, if, if you look at, you know, at the album as, as a whole and, uh, you know, yeah. you, you look back on it, um, is it reflective, um, you know, of, you know, of the last three years? Yeah, it is, because it's, it, first of all, of course, I feel very free on the album and really singing about things I've probably not sung before. Yeah. And... I have allowed, because I spent a lot of time in Italy and, and France, yes. I have kind of I've allowed a side of myself which is not very English to come out, which yes. is yeah. where life is very ridiculous and you're not afraid of that. Mm. And even a song can be very over the top and emotional. Yeah. But, but this is all part of living, really. Yeah. And I think sometimes for English ears, it seems like you're almost a bit kitsch. Yes. Yeah. But that's. I just think, well, come on, guys. Who yeah. Really? Yeah. Because, I mean, yeah, t to the point of releasing this album, your, your biggest market was the UK, wasn't it? Um, no, I've, I've had a lot of success in Europe, actually, as okay. well. Okay, okay, okay. I'd, I'd, I've always had a very curious relationship with... English. With the Europeans, yeah, 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 yeah. Because, I mean, this, this album, to me, um, as well, um, will translate very well in, in somewhere like America as well. Is, is is that the hope with it? I don't know. I hope so. That would be interesting because I've never had very big success in yeah, America. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, if, it, if it does, that would be very funny, won't it? I would. I'll get invited to all those Hollywood parties <laughs> and I can hang out with all the stars. <laughs> And I just, I just hope that whoever, whoever's dressing you now carries on dressing you um, throughout the tour, you know, because uh, um, it does, it does wonders. No, well, I'm not a Miyaki ticker anymore. No. I'm all um, yes. Tish Krufalala. There we go. Yeah. I couldn't have said Hello. it better. But, it's but you can't hold that in the real life, you know, because there's loads of people behind you pulling your stuff yeah, in. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but I mean, they're doing, they, they seem to finally understand who you are, you know. No, I know. Which is, which yeah. I, I think, is the saving grace, you know, uh, whether Mother did that or whether, you know, you've done that on your own. Um, yeah. You know, I, I, it's, as I said, um, you know, like I said at the beginning, there's, there's all of a sudden you are accessible. You know, I don't, yeah. I don't feel that there's sort of a, you know, there's a, a shard between, you, you know, your audience and, and yourself. No, that's true. Mm. Mm. That's true, actually. Mm. And I was just thinking, well, Miyaki is like putting a big, huge 
Yes. Big, huge one, isn't it, between Indeed. you and everybody else? Indeed, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but now, um... God. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> No, that's really an interesting. Yeah. No, it's very interesting. Sorry, no. Yeah, just brilliant. Just a perception. It's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, um, you're obviously doing all these photos and, and everything else, but um, have you got a band together? Are you going to be taking this on, out on the road? Um, I'm been working with some musicians. But I'm most happy with um, that. I sometimes use a string quartet. Yeah. And. Um, who are really good and they sing as well they're just really funky yeah and if I go on the road I would like to work with them yeah but um I don't know yet 30 days I don't yeah and I don't just want to go out and I don't just I don't good, just want to yeah. go out and do kind of like some weird pop yeah. thing with tapes no and do you know what I mean please just don't like, that, uh, no. Just no need for that that's what you mean karaoke to yeah no, it's it just happens though, doesn't it? It does. Nowadays. Yeah. Technology, yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. So. No, no. But, uh, <laughs> no, as I was uh, to say, just in, in closing, because I know you're, you're a busy woman now, and, um, but um, do you, you know, is is this now sort of an, an exciting time for you? That you can, Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is, because I, I don't know what's going to happen. Mm. And that's always exciting. What does your gut feel tell you, though? My gut feeling... Mm. My gut feeling is... Um, either it really works, or it really doesn't. Yeah. Um, do you yeah. know what I mean? It's all of Otherwise, yeah. yeah, it's going to be one extreme or the other. Mm. 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 <laughs> it's probably the way to work, no. Um, I don't know. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Because, <laughs> you know, the public gets... No, um, so, um, yes. Yeah. If it works, it will work big time because it's so... And I, I, I think it's quite... An, and yeah. I, yeah, I think that will be the case. So, so yeah. keep, keep your focus on that because I think the rest will just carry you there. So, uh, oh, yeah, you. yeah. But listen, congratulations. Um, I thank say, you. Again, I, this is like a... It's, I mean, it's just very apt that you're on, the, on a label called Mother. Um, <laughs> but, um, you know, it's like a rebirth. So, um, yeah. but congratulations. You know, on Thanks a lot. Great. But, okay. Uh, and hopefully we will, we will see you down here, yeah? Yeah, I hope so. Yes. Mm. There's, yeah. there's something to pencil in. <laughs> <laughs> Great, but thank you. Thank you. You have a good day. Bye. Bye it now. It was lovely talking to you. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.